What is up YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, I'm going to show you the ultimate solo build to defeat the mightiest Mark 7 star Venusaur for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'm also going to tell you the best supporter in my opinion so you can easily farm this raid because oh man, you actually want to farm this raid because guess what? They gave us Herba Mystica. That's right. First ever seven star raid to have Herba Mystica. And I am very excited. I've already farmed up 10 just by doing it for like a couple hours. And it's awesome. Of course, guys, if you like this type of content, enjoy these videos. Please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. Consider supporting the channel by joining the Pan Fam and that join channel member button below. So let's talk about that Venusaur. So I pretty much nailed most of the things here, right? For its moveset. Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, and it had Giga Train instead of Energy Ball. So we don't completely wall it with Chestnut, but my Chestnut build pretty much was able to handle it. We have a couple updates to that, but we were able to slay it real quick. Now it does have Amnesia, which means you do not want to use any special attackers for this raid. And it literally will use Sunny Day on turn zero, Growth on turn zero, and Petal Dance on turn zero. And this can be rather rough. However, with the right builds, which I have, you'll be able to easily farm this, whether solo or online. Now, the big thing about this Pokemon is it actually drops Urban Mystica and not even a one-time reward. It has a spicy, it has a bitter, it has a sour, it has a salty, it has a sweet. 3% chance for one of these, right? So three times five is 15. You have a 15% chance to finish this raid with at least one any random Urban Mystica. You can potentially get all five Urban Mystica from this as well. This is absolutely massive. This is great for all players, whether hardcore or casual. And I love it because it's going to allow more people to be able to shiny hunt even easier. Overall, I think this Venusaur is very tough. I mean, chlorophyll in the sun outspeeds you, hits you very hard at plus two physical attack, plus two special attack. Giga Drain always getting that HP from you and your allies. So it is a bit troublesome. But like I said, with these builds, I got you. Now for the hero of this raid is going to be Chestnut. And you can run this solo, you can run this online. It's going to work like a beast either way. So Terra Grass Chestnut with Shell Bell. Max Attack, Max Special Defense, Adamant Nature. Get that a 10% boost to your attack. And the hidden ability, Bulletproof. Now, Bulletproof is going to make it so you are immune to Sludge Bomb, which is great. Sludge Bomb will not be able to hit you. The only chance it can hit you is when Venusaur removes your ability and stat buffs when it hits 85% HP. That's the only time it can happen. And besides that, you're gonna be good to go. And that's huge because you resist Earth Power and you resist Giga Drain. So Chestnut's an absolute beast and you have actually pretty decent bulk in general as well. Now for our moves, right? So Seed Bomb is gonna be our main damaging move. This is gonna do a lot of damage for us in general. Uh, Spiky Shield is only used here when you get a uh, ability removed because the venus will remove it from you if you get in a situation where oh you didn't do your turn yet and it removed your ability i would recommend going for spiky shield or you will die from a sludge bomb it will one hit ko you at max hp health so definitely have that now swords dance is how we set up we're going to be setting up two swords dance Sometimes, depending on your raid partners or a solo, you can get three Swords Dance, but you only need two to be able to outpace the damage from a plus two Venusaur. And then Trailblaze, you might be able to fit this in, but really, it could be any fourth move. You can put whatever you want here. It's really these three moves that I end up using the most. Trailblaze is nice if you can outspeed, but it's not necessary. I was able to clear of it sometimes, but I thought uh, going for Seed Bomb ended up being more, more consistent damage. And the damage ended up mattering more towards the end, too. Now, speaking about a uh, support build, I do want to recommend probably the best support build for this, which is going to be Pulte Geist. Now, Pulte Geist is great. If you're going to be online and you're like, well, I don't want to play with four chestnut players, that's fine. I would recommend running a Pulte Geist with Covert Cloak. Covert Cloak is there so you don't get poisoned by a sludge bomb. You're going to be running max HP, max special defense, and the most importantly, the ability weak armor. So the ability weak armor is whenever you get hit, you're going to defense stats lower but your speed goes up by one so on turn one you're going to use skill swap and this is going to make it so that the venusaur now whenever it gets hit is going to get minus one defense so that's going to be massive if you like run three chestnuts and one of these pulte guys that pokemon that venusaur is going to be at minus six defense in no time at all super fast super easy stuff 
Uh, and at, besides that, you have Trick Room because its speed's going to be going up. So you can use Trick Room. So making it so your chest knots go first. Uh, light Screen to give you that uh, plus two special defense for the team for five turns. And then a damage you move. You can use a Giga Drain. It'll give you some life back and it'll be super effective. But that'll be pretty good overall. It's not going to be doing too much damage. Mostly your goal here is just to reset up screens whenever, and then just you can spam Giga Drain or whatever you want at that point. Doesn't really matter because you already did your job. Once you hit that skill swap, Trick Room, and then Light Screen, make sure these two stay up. You're good to go. So super easy builds for this Pokemon in general. For my solo with Chestnut, it's super easy, but you definitely want to follow the steps I did in the video. Of course, your solo partners are always going to be a little bit random when you do it. So it doesn't matter too much who you get, but some of them that are definitely helpful. If you have ones that give you life due, like Gardevoir, incredibly helpful. Uh, Belly Bolt can set up light screen for you. There's a couple of guys can set up light screen. That's going to be incredibly helpful. If they can paralyze the Venusaur like the Dunsparce, that's a really helpful one. Or Corviknight, who can use a scary face to lower the speed. Another really helpful one. So there's a lot of good supporting allies will help you through this raid. Pretty much Intimidators are mostly useless for this raid in general. But there's a lot of support allies, and it's hard to uh account for every single one of them but in general the chestnut will work i got it to clear with the worst three supporters which was like an arcanine a star raptor and like a Haxorus, who did not help me whatsoever so good luck and enjoy this solo all right so we're gonna be doing the solo chestnut build here you know with the bulletproof and all that good stuff running the shell belt and we're gonna try to get a pretty decent kill we got some decent partners but not the best not the worst but not the best, definitely not the best partner. So the beginning here with Chestnut, our goal is to set up our Terra and just get to that Terra Orb. They want to do three attacks and I just recommend going for the C-Bomb three attacks. Now, luckily we have the ability Bulletproof, so we're going to be immune to Sludge Bomb until uh, it removes our abilities, which is always going to be a problem. There's that. There's one suspicious play here, but you know, we're going to hope it goes well. So as you see, defense tier goes up from the AI partner. The Sludge Bomb tried to hit me, we dodged it, which means we're good to go. Uh, and now it's not going to use Sludge Bomb again unless it sees us without our ability. Because the AI is that smart to actually capitalize on that. So it's not hitting me. That's fine. We can't set up because, one, we need to just do damage, keep our HP up. But also, it is going to remove our, uh, like, if we Swords Dance, it'll remove all that good stuff. So there's no point. We just want to knock it low, get it down, get it to that 85% threshold where it is going to uh, remove our stats and abilities and all that. So I maxed out Seed Bomb, which is great. That's at 85%, so it's going to do all that good stuff now. And uh, we're going to lose our ability for a turn. We're going to have to see how this goes. All right, so I didn't do an input. So the safe play here is to use Spiky Shield on this turn because it can use Sludge Bomb against it, right? We we're just gonna play extra safe. I don't want him to get knocked out. Uh, let's see what it does. If he uses Sludge Bomb, I outplayed it. Giga Drain, yeah, I could have probably gone for a defense tier. I will now go for a defense tier just to make sure I get everything set up because we lost it when it removed that. We got a shield up, that's fine. I don't mind. Uh, it will be regaining HP all the time. So we're gonna go for a defense tier. So now we got that uh, nice defense boost for the entire party, which is great. And now I'm going to try to go for uh, two Swords Dances, right? Two Swords Dances. And after two Swords Dances, you want to just spam Sludge Bomb. Oh, not Sludge Bomb, not. Seed Bomb. I'm going to go for uh, two Swords Dances. There's no reason for me to Terra at this moment. You can if you want to. But just in case something really bad happens to you, it'll be up to you. Earth Power. Earth Power is going to do a decent chunk to me. It can also lower your special defense by 10%, which would be unfortunate. 10% chance to do, or not 5, 10%, 10% chance to do. I need one more uh, sword stand. So now we're at plus four. We're looking pretty healthy right now. We're looking pretty strong. We're at about 50%. So now I'm going to go hit the Terra option. Hit the Terra button. And we're going to go Terra, Grass, uh, e bomb. And this is going to do quite a bit of damage. So I don't have a tax here up, but uh, two sword dances is going to be better than one sword dance in my attack. So... And we have we honestly did get some fairly good AI partners this time around, so at least in that regard. So that's why I'm, I'm gonna I would normally go for plus six because my AI partner is actually pretty decent this time around. But just for the general build, you're fine with plus four and just being extra safe because it's gonna give me a lot of HP back, nearly at full right. And 
Now he's gonna remove negative stuff. That's been fine. I've Mega Drain. That's fine. I don't really care. And now I'm, really gonna, I'm just gonna spam Seed Bomb until I eventually win the raid. There's gonna be in the point in the raid where we're gonna be able to get two attacks off, uh, which I believe happens after the shields go down. Uh, we're just gonna have to get through the Earth Powers. Hopefully, no special defense drops. Be very important. Big chunk. Uh, the next one might break it, but it is Giga Drain every turn on everyone else, and it does get HP back from all the uh, ally partners. So. All right, so now the light screen is back up from the allies, so we're going to super safe. Uh, not necessary to do it. I've done this plenty of times without the light screen user. That does make it much more cool. All right, so we're going to hit this again. So we don't break through. We would have break, broken through if we didn't use a lot of Giga Drain. Unfortunately, did. But we did get 100% HP. All right, so this is the one that's going to break through. It's going to slice this Venusaur off like butter. Giga Drain. I mean, still broke before I could even hit it. It's pretty funny. I haven't even got my move off yet. Unfortunately, it's going to count. The damage will count. Like it's still All right, so shield is gone. But at this point, we just win the raid. There's nothing the Venusaur can really do to us. Like, Sunny Day's whatever. Like, who cares? Oh, Sunny Day probably Earth Power me this turn. Actually, did it not get Earth Power off? I'm surprised. Okay, so we're going to get our two turns off. Sometimes it gets two attacks, and then we get two attacks. It looks like we might be getting the two attacks this time. Raids are always finicky. Nice crit. Unnecessary. But now we get our second attack off right here. Okay, I don't know what this time. Okay, so we actually got a proper order of operation. This is my first time seeing a proper order of turn of operation. It's always usually been I get two turns here, and then the Venus or, uh, usually gets two turns before me, and then I get two. Which is fine. But hey, and honestly, this is safer. I'd rather have pushing turns because I'm more used to it. And then we just win the raid at this point because it's dead. Very comfortable, very easy. GG. And the cool thing about this raid, as I mentioned before, uh, you do get Urban Mystica. You have a 50% chance of getting Urban Mystica. So let's hope we get some Urban Mystica. I've got like five herbs from this so far, so it's pretty good. It's great for people who don't like want to do other methods of getting Urban Mystica. This is definitely better than doing like six star raids in my opinion. Uh, especially with this solo build, it's pretty consistent. And of course, if you run this with multiple people, it'll make it even easier for sure. Super chill. I did not get any Urban Mystica, sadly, but that's okay. We got plenty of other goodies. And of course, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, but potentially, I'm a channel member by hitting that join channel member button below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao, and have a good one.